draw the projections of a hexagonal pyramid 30 mm side and axis 60 mm long when it is resting on one of its base edges on HP. Incline 45 degree to VP. Axis is making an angle of 30 degree with HP. So here we are having a hexagonal pyramid 30 mm side and axis 60 mm long. It is resting on one of its base edges. So that is why I have made one of the base edges on the right hand side in the base shape. So when you are tilting the solid finally it will be resting on the base edge C D. So here we are having two inclination. One inclination is for the base edge. Base edge is on HP and inclined 45 degree to VP. So phi is 45 degree and this 45 degree inclination is for the base edge on which it is resting and axis is making an angle of 30 degree with HP. So here theta value is 30 degree and it is for the axis. So here we are having two inclinations that is theta and phi and we have to make a decision which inclination is to be given first. So we shall check with the order of preference here inclination with respect to phase is not mentioned but inclination with respect to the axis and base edge are mentioned here so as per the order of preference we have to give the inclination for the axis first that is theta is to be given first and thereafter we will be giving the inclination with respect to the base edge that is 45 degree so as we have to give the inclination with respect to the axis that is 30 degree with respect to HP the view on HP is top view. So we will be drawing the base shape in the top view. So this is diagram number 1 and thereafter we will be proceeding to diagram number 2. Now we shall apply angle theta is equal to 30 degree for the axis. So here the axis is overlapped by slanting edge P that is why the axis is not represented here. Here the axis is PO but it is behind the slanting edge P dash E dash. That is why I am not able to represent it in the front view. So here the axis P dash O dash and the base they are perpendicular to each other. So if you want to make the axis as at an angle of 30 degree with respect to the horizontal plane, you give an inclination of 90 minus 30 which is 60 for the base. So axis will be automatically at an angle of 30 degree with respect to the axis. So 90 minus 30 is 60. So you have to give 60 degree for the base. So we shall measure the length of the base in the front view. That is approximately some 52. So you take some 62 on the right hand side. So from this point let us take an angle of 60 degrees. We shall draw a thin line. Now if we shall we shall fit the base of this pyramid to the 60 degree line. So this is 50, the base is 52. We shall draw it as a thick line. shall mark the center. Center of 52 is 26. So this point will be D dash C dash. On the extreme end we will be having F dash A dash. Here this point will be E dash B dash O dash. So this is E dash B dash and O dash. So from this point we shall draw the axis. Height of the axis is 60 mm. So this point is P dash. So here I have drawn the same line here. Here the axis is invisible that is why I have drawn it as a thick line.
the axis automatically will be inclined at an angle of 30 degree with respect to the horizontal plane. Now we shall go for the construction of diagram number 4. So diagram number 4 is constructed by extending projectors from the present front view and previous topic. Now we shall draw the outline of the present top. Now we shall find the invisible corners in the top view. For that, we shall take the help of the present front view. On the extreme left, we are having F dash, A dash, and on the extreme right, we are having P dash. So, already we are having a line connecting these two extreme left and right points. So, below this line and between the XY line, if you have got some points in the front view, there is a chance that they can be invisible in the top view. So, let us check it one by one. E, E is a part of the outline. B, B is a part of the outline. O, O is not a part of the outline, but still it is not a corner. So as it is not a corner, we don't have invisible edges from this point O. Next is D and C. So D is not a part of the outline and C is also not a part of the outline. So these two points will be invisible in the top view. So these are two corners. So from corner C and corner D, we will be having three invisible edges. So let us check out which are all those invisible edges. So in order to find out that we shall observe the previous diagram. So this is point C. So three edges will be PC, CB and CD. And from D it is DE, PD and DC. So this edge is common. So we shall draw it one by one. We have done with all the invisible edges. So we shall check whether we have done all the base edges. So AB is here, BC, CD, DE, EF and FA. All base edges are drawn here. Now let us check the slanting edges. Slanting edges are PA. So we have not drawn PA. So what about the visibility of PA? PA is crossing CD which is invisible. So this will be visible. So this is PA, PB is already here, PC is here, PD is here, PE and PF. So what about the visibility of PF? PF is crossing CD. So as CD is invisible, PF will be visible. PF will be visible. Now we shall draw the axis also. So we reached up to diagram number 4. Now in order to get diagram number 5, we have to apply angle 5 for this base edge. So CD is the base edge on which presently this uh, solid is resting. So as CD is resting on the corresponding horizontal plane, it will be having its true length. So we shall apply angle 45 degrees for this base edge. So we shall draw a 45 degree line on the right hand side. Now we shall fit this uh, CD onto this 45 degree line. CD is 30 mm, its true length. So this point is C and 
this point is D. Both of them are invisible. Now, we shall draw PO, this straight line, this complete straight line which is perpendicular to CD along the midpoint of CD. Shall draw it as a thin line. Now let us mark point P, O, and this extreme point. We, we, are, we don't have a name here, but still we shall mark this point. So from C D to point O, it is approximately 13 mm. So we shall mark it as 13 mm. This point is O. And to this extreme end, this perpendicular line, which is touching this uh, line AF, from CD it is 26. Now, the length of P, the distance of P with respect to CD, this is approximately 38. So this is point P. Now we have to get uh, AF and BE. AF is on a line which is perpendicular to this line. So we shall draw this perpendicular line on this diagram. So the length of this line, it is again 30. So from this point, let us draw a perpendicular line. So totally this is 30 so from this center this will be 15 and this also will be 15 they will be 15 each so this point will be point a and this point will be point f and we shall obtain be so the line connecting BE is perpendicular to PO. So already we have located PO. The distance of B with respect to O is approximately 29. Approximately 29 or 29 and a half. You take it, take whatever the value you are getting, you take it as such. So let us take some 29. So here this is 29 and this is also 29. So let us draw initially a perpendicular line through point O. Now take 29 each. So here this is point B and this is point E. Now we shall reconstruct the whole diagram onto the right hand side. Now in order to get diagram number 6, you have to extend projectors from diagram number 5 and the previous front view. Now we shall draw the outline in the front. After drawing the outline, the next step is finding invisible points. So in order to get invisible points in the front view, we shall observe the present top view. So on the extreme left, we are having E and on the extreme right, it is P. So we shall place our order scale here. So between this line and the XY line, if we are having some points, P 
these points may be invisible in the front view if they are not a part of the outline of the front view. So we shall check it one by one. So this is point F, but F is a part of the outline, so not invisible. Now let us consider A. A is a part of the A is not a part of the outline, so this will be invisible. So let us write A in brackets. Now point B. B is also not. Uh, it is not a part of the outline, so B will be also invisible. Now it is C. C is a part of the outline, so not invisible. And D is also a part of the outline, so it is not invisible. O is not a part of the outline, so O will be invisible. So out of A, B, and O, O is not a corner, so we don't have invisible edges from point O dash. But A dash and B dash are corners, so we'll be having invisible edges from these corners. So let us check out which are all those invisible edges. So first, let us take A dash. So in order to find out invisible edges, we shall just uh, make a reference with respect to the uh, base sheet. So here this is point A. Here this is point A. So from point A we are having AB, AF and AP. All these three edges will be invisible. So AB, AF, then AP. Again from point B, so this is point B, we are having PA, BC and PA. So all these three edges will be invisible. Already we have done with BA, now we shall draw BC, then BP. So we have drawn all the invisible edges. Now we shall come to the other edges. So we shall check whether we have done with all the base edges. So base edges are AB, BC, CD, DE and EF. So all base edges are there. Now we shall check the lateral edges. P, sorry, not lateral edges, slanting edges. PA is already drawn here. PB is here. PC is here. So next one is PD. So what about the visibility of PD? When you are trying to draw PD, it is crossing a hidden line AD, sorry AB. So this will be visible. This slanting edge will be visible. Next is PE. So what about the visibility of PE? When you are trying to draw PE, it is crossing AB. So PE also will be visible. So the last one is PF. Already we have done with PF. Now we shall draw the axis. So this is our final diagram here as you can see the final diagram is resting on the xy line on d dash e dash so this is the base edge on which this solid is resting on the horizontal plane and we shall do the dimensioning process now we started from diagram number one then we proceeded to diagram number two from two to three it is a reconstruction by applying theta then from 3 we have done 4 and from 4 to 5 it is again a reconstruction by applying 5 to the base edge which is CD on which this solid is resting. Then from 5 to 6 is, uh, 6 is our final diagram. So in all these cases uh, the uh, diagram number 5 you have to take care in such a way that you have to fit this base edge CD in such a way that when you are drawing this top view, it must not touch the XY line or it not, must not touch the previous top view. So you have to take care in fixing this point CD. 